Leah Samuel. I'm a freshman. I'm a theater major with an integrated emphasis, and I'm playing Kimberly Trent. Hi, my name is Lydia Hannibal, and I am a super sophomore, and my major is theater, and my emphasis is in performing arts. Um, and I am playing the role of Lillian Demond. Kimberly is the secretary. Uh, she works with him in his house, and she's been working for him ever since she left college. And um, she's hardworking, but she doesn't show very much emotion. Who is Lillian Demond? She is an actress who says she's worked on Broadway, but has she worked on Broadway? Hmm, that's the question. Um, we all want to know. She has a reputation that she has to uphold, but why does she have to, uh, what, what is this reputation that she has to uphold? Uh, is it a good reputation or a bad reputation? A wild reputation. That's, hmm, that's a question. I hope people can relate to the fact that Kimberly doesn't want to show a lot about herself and that she keeps a lot of things hidden. What do I hope that the audience takes away from my character? Um, that she's fun. That she's wacky. That she is a little devilish. Yeah, that she's a fun lady. And maybe they would like to get to know who she is if she were in the three-dimensional world rather than just on stage. I hope that audiences can take away that families are completely different. Every family is di uh, a different shape, a different size, and everyone in the family is completely different and they all show their personality in unique ways. What do I hope that the audience takes away from the show as a whole? I hope that they have a great time and that their detective brains start working and try to figure out who did what and why and when. And I think um, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll have a good time and fun trying to use that part of their brain. My favorite part about the rehearsal process is getting to work with my uh, older peers one-on-one -on -one because I'm the only freshman in the show and it's very helpful to hear their input and what they think I'm bringing to the character and seeing what they can do with their characters as well. The most fun moment of the rehearsal process has been learning about who Lillian DeMond is and uh, working with all of the actors and with Carrie Winship and uh, just having a great time being in that communion. And even though we're not on stage together, it's fun to see everyone every day uh, that we are in rehearsals and interacting with them, especially in the breakout rooms. Uh, lots goes on in the breakout rooms and it's fun. What to do about murder is different from other murder mysteries because you have to pay attention to everything every character says. Every little piece of information is vital to understanding who really did it. The characters, the whole storyline, um, I think that you don't know who's going to do what. You don't know who the murderer is. And I think in other genres, murder mystery genres, you kind of have a sense of who's going to, who is the murderer, but in this play, you don't. And so it's fun uh, trying to figure out who the murderer is and why they did it. My process has been different because normally I'm used to being up and very active, but for most of the show, I'm sitting right here and I'm looking at 
what is essentially nobody when I'm used to looking at a room full of about a hundred people. So uh, preparing to do that is a completely different uh, way of going about it. The process I don't think has really changed that much. And I have had a little bit of um, experience in front of a camera. So that hasn't changed. What has changed, I've never had to be technical. And so that has been a change for me. Do I like it? <laughs> no. Um, am I learning? Yes. And that's good. So I am learning another side of the technical process. Uh, part of being an actor, if that makes sense. My biggest piece of advice for audience members is to not jump to conclusions because you may, you may think you know who did it in act one and then your idea may completely change in act two and it may change from scene to scene. Advice for the audience when they come to see the show is to have fun, have your detector brain working. Uh, you'll enjoy it, you'll laugh. Uh, you might even have a few questions. Enjoy the show. Come see Much Ado About Murder. March 10th through the 14th. <laughs>